Greetings from the eerie coast. This is Mad Shad. Tierri, give me a bless on this wonderful Tuesday. Wow, beautiful day. Uh, it's not even in the 80s, man. It's it's beautiful. Partly cloudy skies. Uh, my uh, my secretary seemed to be away for the moment. Uh, something just happened. I, I I did something. I moved my hand and it started re re recording. I was like, how did I do that shit? I don't know what the fuck I did. Weird. Weird shit. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it was weird. Uh, but it's a good day. But I tell you about those who did not have a good day had a very weird day. Yeah, that's right. You guessed it. Those Americans are trapped in Afghanistan left there by Trader Jones' militia slash head government regime. At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at Abigail in Kabul, Afghanistan, along with 200 other poor souls. 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs. A lot of them service members as well. Every day, never forget. I never forget whose fault this is. <laughs> But there was hope. Folks getting him out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pine for Project Exodus, Project Dynamo Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. I had to think for a second. Yeah, I know. I say this shit every day. I shouldn't forget. Every day, never forget. Yeah. And at least we forget that 200 plus people are incarcerated. Plus, I say, because they're arresting more. 200 plus people are incarcerated uh, for the J6. Uh, Op. It was definitely an op. Uh, it was a way to to gather to to uh, to justify certain uh, certain actions in the arrestment, the arresting of uh, uh, political prisoners and holding them. Yeah, two hundred. Every morning they uh, they they sing at the top of their lungs. They make a phone call and they sing at the top of their lungs the national anthem. Yeah, every morning. Yeah, every day. Never forget. Never forget whose fault this is. But there's hope for them. Uh, there's folks trying to get them out. Uh, thousands of people fighting. You know, uh, so many charities, so uh, family and friends just. You know, it's a constant ongoing battle against a tyrannical regime that cares not. Cares not. You know, at some point in time, you got to realize this is bullshit. <laughs> this is all bullshit and call bullshit. Raise that bullshit flag. Yeah. It, meanwhile, uh, you know, looking into that, you know, they say that, uh, oh, Mr. Epps is being indicted. Ooh, no, he's not. He'll never see a day of day of jail in his lifetime. Yeah, yeah. Just like uh, Sam Bankman Friedman or whatever the fuck his name was, uh, FNX. Uh, you know those guys or FX, uh, the the ones that that got caught bezeling billions of dollars. Yeah, you know, he's free. He's free, and not only is he free. Is uh, he's allowed being allowed to start it all up again? Yeah, he's gonna start it back up uh, under a different name, of course. Yeah, see how they do. See how they do. That's what they do, man. They think we're stupid, and uh, well, yeah. <laughs> a lot of us aren't. I mean, I'm a brilliant idiot, so you know, that's it's, that's a different story. Uh, but for the most part, yeah. Uh, the people of, of United States of America uh, are absolutely, absolutely stupid. You know, uh, today is also Election Day in Ohio, special ballot, where we uh, vote upon issue one. Yeah, uh, some other things. I, I had heard rumors or something else on the ballot. I don't know. I couldn't find anything, uh, something to do with guns. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll see today when I go and vote. But uh, let's see, uh, later on in November, we're going to vote on abortion rights, the, the right to allow people to do certain things uh, to themselves. Okay. Uh, and then later on, the legalization of marijuana, you know, is up, is up on the ballot uh, in November. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, both of which I really don't care care about. I don't care. <laughs> you know, uh, the issue one, yes, uh, I do. I do care about that one. Interesting. 
cool car. Uh, yes, I will be voting yes for that one. But, uh, you know, it just makes sense. And I, I guess it, uh, you know, it's business as usual for your states if you're living in a good state. Uh, <laughs> Ohio seems to be a pretty good state as far as like law and order and, and, and you know, people's rights and things of that nature. But, uh, you know, just, we, we gotta, we gotta, if, if, we, if we're going to keep this constitutional republic, we're, we're going to have to be, uh, be active in it. Um, so, you know, what, what that, what that entails for you and uh, voting, uh, voting, uh, you know, getting your voice heard, um, bringing your, bringing your elected administrative officials uh, to accountability that's that's very important so they so that they realize that they work for us um, obviously the federal has has walked away from that and uh, they're they're just they're doing what they can what they can try to get away with and it appears that they're trying to get away with a lot. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, you know, the, the states are still in charge in your state. You know, it still boils down to your, your, your local government, you know, and, and what, they, what they will allow and what they won't allow and what you're willing to fight for, you know? And, and, and don't, don't believe the hype that, oh, you know, there's nothing I can do. No, yes, 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 indeed there is. It's definitely something you can do. You can make your voice heard. It, you know that's something. That is that is something huge, because speaking and and you know addressing addressing these uh, these uh, these issues gets people to think, gets people to react, and uh, it goes from there. And then of course the people band together and uh, make shit happen. So. Um, that's it there. I, I can't think of anything else. I, I we've been busy. I, I'm just busy, you know, uh, busy working, trying to trying to trying to accomplish uh, task and, and get things done. Uh, so you know, that that to me is more important than what's going on in the real world, in in the the collective objective uh, matrix. <laughs> but uh, yeah. For now, anyway. For now, I, I do try to stay abreast of of situations, uh, but right now this this requires my uh, my uh, my immediate attention. So, go team Linda. Go team Linda. Fuck cancer. She is kicking ass, taking names, getting stronger by the day. Uh, on the men's, outstanding. She's throwing away her walker and she's walking on her own reconnaissance. It's awesome. Uh, go team baby Linda go uh, go team baby Harper <laughs> team baby Linda <laughs> go team baby Harper uh, she is still on life support and you know certain kinds uh, you know but they they're they're weaning her off of it and she's getting stronger and she's she's uh, her eyes are open so uh, your thoughts and prayer, prayers please it's been mad shad every day never forget <laughs>